Hey, this is Riker. Good morning. Let's go ahead and we're going to get started looking something at in ZMAX together. So I was thinking recently it'd be kind of cool to do some sort of a cell phone lens design. Um, but what I really wanted to be able to do is be able to swap out materials. But often people only will provide materials with indices of refraction and Abbe numbers. And I'm sure there's some ZMAX user out there who knows exactly how to swap out abbeys and indices of refraction uh, when you're hammer optimizing or something like that. But I don't know exactly the easiest way to do that um, other than by defining materials. So um, let's say we get uh, from our cell phone uh, manufacturer, uh, the lens manufacturer, they say here's some materials that you can use. Uh, right now I'm just going to list plastic one. Um, and then uh, this down here is going to be a different way of defining things that we'll look at in a minute. Okay, so they give us this information. So we can go into materials here and we can click on the box starting with a fresh CMAX file box right here and switch to model. Okay, so we'll go ahead and type in those numbers and I can't even recall what they were, even though I just looked at them. 1.545 and we'll do that. So the thing about ZMAX's modeling of indices of refraction is it is just um it it's only good to like 0 0.001 something like that maybe maybe a little bit better than that 0 0.01 depending on the glass and material um so if we look up model glass um that's what i'm looking for Index of refraction computation. Uh, that's just getting into temperature stuff. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Um, mill glass. Yeah, let's, let's look up. Uh, here we go. Using the mill number. That's what I wanted to see. So mill numbers are six digits. Um, in our case, our plastic would be 545-560. And Optic Studio uses a formula to compute the index at each defined wavelength. Okay. And it's accurate to roughly 0 0.001. There you go. Okay, so... This is not a perfect way of doing things, um, but it is still the case that you, people are given um, either indices of refraction or, you know, sometimes they'll give you a wavelength and an index of refraction at that wavelength. And in both cases, we want to see, okay, what, what can we do with that? So let's say we want to define this material as plastic one. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to go to the optimizer. What? Yep, that's where we're going. Okay, go to the merit function. And at the top here, I'm going to type in INDX. Stands for index of refraction. And I'm going to just uh, copy that operand, you know, or control C. And then I'm going to paste it two times. And let's go back into full screen mode here. I'm going to go to wavelengths and I'm going to define the FDC. I'm going to click this select preset to get this selection of wavelengths, FDC wavelengths, commonly used for visible systems. And in my merit function, I'm going to change this to one, two, three. So why am I doing this? Well, this is going to give me um, in theory, if I choose the right surface, this is surface one, 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 one. This will tell us the indices of refraction at our wavelengths. 
Very nice. Okay. So now let's go over to the libraries tab here. Let's go to materials catalog and I want to make a new catalog. Okay. So I'm going to click, I'm going to, let's go to a catalog you guys probably got. Um, let's choose LaCroix. That's a big catalog. Whoa. Oops. Um, let's, let's go to, uh, where's the, uh, miscellaneous, this one that has less. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and save catalog as, uh, we're just going to call it custom. Okay. Custom one. Okay. All right, so we've got the custom one catalog, and I'm going to go ahead and ZMAX is kind of silly. The only way to take glasses out of a catalog is to cut them. So just start clicking that cut title, that cut button. Cut, 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 cut. And maybe let me go to zero. Nope, it won't. Okay, so let's go ahead now, and we are going to. Click this button down here, fit index data, save changes, please do. Okay, and it starts us off with these three wavelengths. We don't need to really get more accurate than that, in my opinion, because again, this index of refraction is going to be only good to 0 0.001. Okay, so we've got, um, ooh. Nice if he. Yeah, let's save that. You know, we're going to do this. We're going to grab that window, pick it up, move it there. We're going to grab this window, pick it up. We're going to move it to the edges of the screen. And now we'll go into our materials catalog, go and find custom one. And now we can see our wavelengths and the disease of refraction. Let's go ahead and say fit index data now. Now I can see it. Let's go ahead and type it in 0 0.48613, 0 0.58756, and 0.65627. Our index of refraction for wavelength one, which is this, this guy, yep. 1.55178. 1 1.55178. And now we got 1.545. Okay. And 1.54205. Very good. We're now going to, we're going to call this one Plastic One. And I think that we can fit with the shot formula but it might yell at me yep it yelled at me let's use selmeyer nope one of these only requires three nope conradi yay okay so uh we got the conradi formula that we used um i guess ideally you'd have six wavelengths if you wanted a more robust uh fit and if you had real wavelengths and real indices of refraction Sure, that makes sense. Okay, um, we're going to go ahead and save, um, add to catalog, plastic one, and then exit. And now we can get rid of water. And voila, we've got our plastic one. Let's go ahead and save this catalog. And we could do the same process uh, to add more materials. Very nice. So now when we go to um, Let's see, let's go ahead and move our custom one material up. Shot comes down. And I'm gonna go ahead and change this to fixed. Ta-da, it's plastic one. And now, if I really wanted to, when I'm optimizing, I could do substitution. And if I um, look at, let's see, there's a button here somewhere. Glass substitution template. Um, well, that doesn't really give us new information, but 
the bottom line is only the glasses that are in the catalog that the catalogs that you've got over here which we've only got custom one only those will be used in the optimization so you can make a, a sub selection of glass materials and use those okay while we still have time i wanted to talk about one other thing we could try doing and i have never tried actually hammer optimizing with these sorts of um, materials but um, there's another way of defining material called using table glasses um, they're stored in a text file with an extension ztg okay so i've gone to um, root you know users name documents zmax glass catalog and if you scroll all the way down right there table test ztg let's open this up in notepad sure okay so what we can do here is i'm just going to copy paste density uh, of our plastic I have no real idea of what that will be. I feel like the densities of plastic are typically close to water. So let's say 1.4. Okay. Um, let's do the same thing. Uh, or we could do, no, let's do our IR material. Because I've already got it right here. Boom. Okay. So let's say somebody gives you some material. They say, here's the um, wavelengths and indices in the IR. We want you to model our system and you have to use this material. No changing the material, use this. Okay, so we don't wanna really swap out materials then. So we can go ahead and let's do the same practice they do. Looks like it might be tab separated. I didn't read that in the documentation, but that might be a safe assumption. And they tell you the density of this IR material is it's probably like four. I don't know. It's probably gonna be pretty dense. And now I'm and then glass catalog. And we want to save it as a so we're gonna call this IR1.ztg. Okay. Save. Very good. Okay, so that got saved. Let's uh, go ahead and refresh this. See if it shows up. Yep, there's our ir.ztg file. Okay, so now, technically, these should be accessible at all times. Ta-da! IR1ZTG. Now, is it going to give me indices of refraction at these wavelengths? Nope. Why not? Well, it's just going to match it to the lowest wavelength, it looks like. But if we change our wavelengths to 1.1, 1 1.25, 1.4, then it's going to match our data. By the way, this is just uh, BK7, so nothing extravagant here. Okay, um, I'm curious. Let's change it to 1.3, and let's let's start poking things a little bit. Will it change that number from 1.4475 to somewhere in between? And it does. Okay, so it does interpolation for you. Okay. Well, very nice. Uh, so that's how we define materials in ZMAX. I hope you learned something new. And thank you for watching.